Steve, how you doing, man? Hey, how you doing, McMahon? I'm good. I'm good. Out here looking at the uh, strange, unusual, and different, you know, from time to time, and ran across this thing. Yes, sir. That's not normal. No, this no. is the terrorist tracker. It, uh, w what is it now? The terrorist tracker. That's what we named it. Okay, the terrorist tracker. Okay. Yep. So you can go uh, land or sea or all over. Uh, Anywhere you uh, want. Anywhere tracking, you point it. Yeah. Tracking terrorist, I guess. That's yeah. right. Tracking terrorist. Is this something <laughs> you built, man? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Wow. What imagination you got, Steve. Man, thanks a lot. Yeah. Just okay. uh, really wanted to, uh, we have a four-wheel drive shop, an axle shop okay. here in Rossville, Georgia, and we just, we wanted to show people that we could take four-wheel into the next level. And so this is what we dreamed up and come up with. All right. Wow. So, yeah, I could only imagine how, how far you can get in something like this. I mean... It's it's tracks. It actually looks like you could take the tracks off of it. And you got rubber tires ready to go too, right? Yeah, but you need, you got to have the tracks on it. It's okay. built for it to be a track vehicle. Yeah. All right. You have fun in that baby though, don't you? Oh yeah, she's she's pretty powerful. Got an LS six liter in it. Yep. You know, I I might have saw something similar or this same one on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, well, there's a one called a rip saw, and this is kind of one of the ideas yeah. from that. Gotcha. So this, gotcha. this is a homemade version of a rip saw. Uh huh. So w what we got power in it now? Uh, LS six liter. Yeah, a truck motor, GM. Yeah, 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 GM truck engine, LS motor. Yeah. Yeah, it's got plenty of power. Sounds good. Wow. Yeah. Got a lot of suspension travel. That's one of the unique things about it. Uh, we got it up over 50 miles an hour. Yeah. One of the cool things about it is trying to make the differential steer work. Okay. And we got that dialed in right now. So you got that dialed in, and that's yeah. sort of like a tank, you know, the same yeah, thing. So basically, this is a tank with a steering wheel, though. That's what makes this one a little bit more unique because it goes so fast and so powerful. You can't hang hang on to regular levers like you normally would. So we had to come up with something to hang on to but still be able to control it. Sure. And that's okay. what we were able to do. Wow. Man, that's that's just cool. Uh, I'm loving it, man. You don't see this kind of stuff every day. So, you know, people in their yeah, imaginations. Give, give, me an, give me an idea. Uh, all this is homemade stuff. So, like the cogs, they're solid forklift tires that we indexed and notched out. Okay. And, uh. Then uh, just we made all the tooling to stamp out all the the dies for uh, for all of our rubber tracks. Yeah, and uh, now that you say that, yeah, I can see the fork lift tires there. That's pretty neat. A lot of suspension travel, 14 inch suspension travel. Yeah. And uh, okay. Yeah. So basically, just a, a off road race truck that's a track, and it's uh, really built to be the same width and same wheelbase as all your other four wheel drives on the trail. So that way, I could use it as a good comparison of the track track. Uh, uh, the traction weight ratio. So, you know, big four wheel drive's got a one foot by one foot print times four. Mm -hmm. I'm working with a two foot by 10 foot print times two. So, I think I got a lot. One of the ideas was when I watched a bulldozer pulling a 47 degree pushing dirt up a hill, okay. I, I knew that I had to come up with something to be able to do that. This is yes. what I come up with. What a way to show off your talent, man. That's, that's awesome. Yep. Steve. What year is your bug, man? 67. Mm -hmm. and, and this is the kind of stuff you also build. Yes, sir. You go real high with the uh, big Ford pickup behind us. You go real low with the bug. You put tank tracks on a man of many talents, Steve. Wow. Okay. We're, who raised you, man? <laughs> Where'd you come up with all this? Man, just dreaming, just going for yeah, it. Yeah. Just, just dreaming and, uh, uh, and a few dollars. And you can do stuff like this, man. Yeah. So what, what kind of suspension is this? So this is all air ride, custom front axle. Mm -hmm. It's uh, got a Jigster 1000 crotch rocket engine. Ah. And I uh, built, uh, wh what it was is I wanted to learn how to weld aluminum. So mm -hmm. I, I decided to build this car mostly out of aluminum inside. And then uh, also was doing a little research, wanting to learn to chop and narrow cars. So mm -hmm. I, I researched and found that the bug was one of the hardest cars to chop. So I took that challenge on. And that's how I come up with this. Oh, the challenge would be the curve of the top, yes. man. You got to dissect that thing. Yeah, you got to uh, cut it up in like a pie. Yeah. And yeah. then you got to be able to piece and it all back together without it warping crazy. Once you pie it up, you can squeeze it in, keep yep. chopping and squeeze so it in, and then th this smooth it over. That's right. This car has been chopped, channeled, tubbed. <laughs> Uh, drop, yes. chan I mean, anything you can do to one, it's been done to this car as far as metal work. And I'd imagine the way to enter it is you got to open the door, lay down on the ground, and roll in that baby. That's the thing about this car. You can look cool getting in, but you just it's hard to look cool getting out. <laughs> you can't look cool getting out of it, he says. You're rolling out Let's of it. Let's look at that, that little crotch rocket yeah, motor man. you got in this thing. That is awesome, dude. Motorcycle stuff. Yeah. Just, Street bike motor, right? That's right. I just wanted something to be nasty and catch a lot of attention. Yeah. And uh, really just see if I can make it work.